Hello everyone, my name is Navra Saha and welcome back to our YouTube channel Code Add Course. Today we are going to make form widget using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But before that, you may encounter the traditional long form that have so many input field like 10, 20, 30 and even more. What do you feel at that moment? you may be intimidated with the lots of input field so same thing happened to the user perspective so to solve that problem what we can do is divide the form into smaller chunk here even though the form is divided but all the information i have to fill in the single page so it is intimidating so what we do is the user only have to fill the certain section and then click on next then here she have to fill another section then another section that makes it easier and less intimidating here is the demo what i supposed to say so it's a demo So as you can see, all the information are not displayed at once. They displayed in song and user can fill in song by song. So it makes the form less intimidating and more user friendly. Now let's see how we can make this HTML form widget. So here I have created three different file index.html that gives the structure for that form widget then we have styles.css that give the styling to that form and last we have script.js file that do the magic or we can say that control the behavior here i've linked the style.css and the script.js file first we have to make the form container that will wrap up the whole thing which we are going to build then inside the form container we have form widget and inside the form widget we put all those form element first start with the step one that is a personal information in the step one we wrap each step by the form step and active make it visible but uh, right now it is just a class so it does not work until we add the CSS then we have two input field first is first name the second is last name then inside a button class we have the next button in the second step is about contact information and since it is a step we wrap it with form step then in a contact info step we have email and phone input field then inside a button we have the back button and the next button when we press the back button it will lead to the step one and when we press the next button it will lead to the step two The last and the third step is account setup. In the account setup, here I put the password and the confirm password input type. Then inside the button div, here I put the back button and the submit button. At last, we have progress bar. And as you can see, it is not visible right now because it is just a div. So it is not visible until we put css into it the progress bar have three dot it's a dot one dot two and it's dot three and by using the active class we can see in which step we are currently in or how in what progress we are currently in now let's add uh, some css so that uh, 
it will looks more beautiful and it will be more understandable first i change the font then display is flex so that it is easy for alignment and change the background to this color and this style is for the form container as you can see i make the background white the radius border radius which is seen here also the we put some shadow in that box then we hide all the step the form step is in every step so at first we hide all the step and we only display the step that have active class then we style the input field right now when we uh, focus on the input field its color notice that color now when we focus in the input field we change its color so it looks more nicer and beautiful and we make that input field fit into that box then we style the button so right now when i hover the button it does not change the style so now when i hover the button it's a it changed some style like it adds linear grading we set button class as a flex so that inside so that the button inside the button class can be arranged easily so because of this display flex we can align the button in the right and this is for progress bar container we setting of the progress bar then we set the progress bar background then we fill the progress bar before this code the progress bar is not visible because the progress bar is the same color as this that means the white color so that the progress bar is not visible but when we make the dot and change its color to this let's see we are giving more contrast to the progress bar that is active so that it is easier for user to know in which step they are right now so right now when i hover this progress bar we do not see any pointer here now we also change the effect when we hover the progress bar this is used to display error and this is just to make our form widget more mobile friendly and responsive design now let's go to the script.js and write some javascript code first we select all the element inside this form so that we can control them is our need and we set the form step index to zero this function ensures that the user will not go to the next step until they fill the input field and this is the error message we will display since this error because the user did not fill the form so we write please fill out all the required field this function is used to handle the next button function when we press the next button uh, right now it does not work because we haven't uh, created update form step and the update progress bar so it does not so it is so it does not work right now but it is used to go to the next step here what we does is that 
we update the form step or we increment the form step index so right now the form step is zero and we know that the zero step means the this is step one and when we increment the form step index to one it will go to the go to uh, this step and it will also call the update form steps and update progress bar so if we are in the step 3 or step 2 we can back to the previous step and it have the same thing except we uh, decrement the form step index progress step button event listener uh, allow us to navigate to each step by clicking on the progress step button so after we fill all the form we can uh, navigate to each step by clicking on this progress step button also this function is used to show the correct step using this form step index so if the form step index is 1 it will display this because this is for 0 this is for 1 and this is for 2 when we jump in between the step like we jump from 1 to 2 or 2 to 3 progress bar we do that by just adding or removing the active class from the progress bar and initially we call update form step and also initially we have the form step index set to 0 so it initially when this function call it display the step 1 personal information now let's try it now let's try to click the next without filling the form it shows the error and here you have it a complete modern and user-friendly multi-step form widget the full code for this project is available at the link in the description what other kind of tutorial you would like to see please let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe for more web development tutorial thanks for watching